how to remove or change or modify the dot above the eye. And if you obviously got a word trip or this or anything that's got I in it. And of course, it depends on the font, of course. If you're using a font that doesn't have a, a dot, it doesn't make any difference. But if you have got that dot and you want to get rid of it, what you can do, you can access it. You just go to obviously here, just there, and you think, oh, I can remove it. There's no tool. So what you need to do is you need to convert it to curves. Now there's an option here, convert to curves at the top. Also, normally I must admit, I use the layer menu, but convert to curves. So it's been converted. Now you go to the node tool, and as soon as you do that, you'd think you'd access all nodes. Well, you can't, not straight away. You have to go over here to the layers and expand that out. With the layers, now if you can't see that, it's view and studio in layers. All the various panels are all available via this studio. Slightly confusing, because in Photoshop, of course, it's accessible via the window. Just to, quite often I go to the window, and look, oh, it's not there. So view and studio, just to be slightly different. Now select the curves and the eye. Now at this point, you'll see all the nodes have been selected or are accessible, I should say. If you want to actually select all of those, just simply drag over with the node tool. Just go down there to the node tool and you can select all of those nodes and then you can click on there and move it around if you want. And that's the blue. They've been selected when they've got the blue. Of course, you can deselect click there again, always go back to the layers and click on the eye. If you go off it, it will suddenly lose access to it. So you have to go back, things. So you can just click there and then you can manipulate, finally click there. Now you can hold down the shift and you can click all the way around. And again, what you can do then, you can move just by clicking there, you can move that around still like that. But if you want to remove it, now you can't remove it right over here. If you go to layers, and there's a little obviously bin there, click that and curves will disappear. The eye will disappear. Now I don't want that, so just press the delete key. And that's it. Now, sadly, there is no convert back to font feature. It would be really nice if there was. It'd be a real quite useful feature. And as I've changed nothing else other than just remove a little bit of it, it would you'd think would be quite easy. But however, there is no option for that. But that's how you can get rid of that dot. And you're probably asking, why would I do a video about that? Because I was asked how to get rid of the dot above the letter I. Perfectly happy to do a tutorial about that. Because I must admit, if I was coming to this, I'd probably think, I don't know. So that's the, uh, well, that's my way of doing it. I'm certain that uh, maybe there's other techniques as well. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Finity Photo, uh, Finity Designer, Finity Publisher, Critter, Painter, Photoshop, Illustrator, and probably hundreds of other ones as well. Just try to think of some of them. Uh, also, if you've got any comments, maybe you've got maybe a better approach to this. Maybe there is a different way of doing removing that dot. Please let me know in the comments, and then I'll be able to do a new video and understand it a little bit better. Also, anything I've done too fast, too quick, or maybe want, maybe slightly more explained a bit better, please let me know. A dislike or like. Thank you much.